Um, so I want to show you this thing I got. I was, uh, I was in London working, and I went to this radio show to do this thing, and then the lobby, they had, uh, you know, kind of advertisement, postcardy things, and this, I do not understand, you'll see, I don't understand what they're trying to say. Uh, it's really bizarre. It's not a cultural thing, too. I've done this in uh, England a bunch, and they don't know what the fuck it means either, so it's just very weird and odd. Um, it's a postcard, and there's a photo of a rose, and then underneath the rose, in the shape of a heart, is blood. And there's a picture of a, tiny picture of a woman here, and it says, nothing hurts like love, besides being a date rape victim. <laughs> What? 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 <laughs> what does that mean? What do you... Why, sir? Why? <laughs> it is so weird. And then you turn it over and it's, uh, it's information for this trust, for this... Um, uh, the trust was formed to educate young people and other vulnerable groups. Women in... <laughs> personal safety, and then you look on the back, it's a website, and it's got uh, the bottom half, there are date safety tips, and these are the most poorly written, impractical <laughs> date safety tips you could imagine. It was, I mean, here's one. Be careful how much you drink. Remember, alcohol loosens inhibitions, so you may end up doing something you regret, or worse. Something worse than something I would regret. Hmm. Something so vile and, and vi it just a crime against humanity, so amoral that you don't even regret it. That's how sick and awful it was. You psychologically cannot afford to regret it or you will kill yourself. You zoom right past regret and head straight to denial and justification. That's how awful that thing was. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry, do I regret getting drunk and digging up the corpse of Anne Frank and fucking it on the steps of her house? No. <laughs> I thought it was pretty cool. <laughs> Where's everybody going? And this, all right, this is just ridiculous, this last date safety tip. Always watch your drink. It can be so easy for someone to slip a drug into your drink if you are not vigilant. Carry a drink testing kit and use it if you're in any doubt. There you go. There's your simple solution, ladies. Just always carry a drink testing kit with you. That wouldn't be an awkward first date. First date, first year anniversary, you know, uh, Family reunions, you never know, you never know. That's what I'm saying. Oh, that would be, I would love to be on the other end of that first date. <laughs> hi, David, hi, Rachel. Yeah, no, Connie was telling me about you. Um, thanks for coming down and meeting me. I just wanted to hang out and, uh, is that an apple teeny for me? I love apple teenies, thank you. <laughs> so. Um, so Connie tells me that, uh, that you're into skydiving. That's so, I mean, I, that's one of those things I'd always wanted to do, and I'd, you know, I'd love to be able to do it, but uh, I'm just afraid I'd get up there and I'd be trapped in, and I'd be like, I'm scared, I want to go, and then it would be embarrassed. Oh, it's a drink testing kit. <laughs> uh, just, no, 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 I just want to uh, see if you're going to try to date rape me. <laughs> Um, if it turns cloudy, I have to go. Uh, ah, the old date rape drink test joke. 